Hi guys, welcome back to Brown Barber Club. This is week 5 of Calgary Barber 8 week program. In today's vlog, we will be discussing about the estimated 1 rep max and what is actual 1 rep max. And if you think estimated 1 rep max means you will get to max out, Sorry, I will also discuss how to calculate estimated 1 rep max using the calculators. The third thing I will be discussing about is how accurate is this estimated 1 rep max in your program or in your training. Fourth thing will be where you can use this estimated 1 rep max in your training. And I will also be sharing one mistake that we did in the last cycle when we were running this program. Okay, let's start with week 5 day 1 and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned. With that being said, Question of the day is what is estimated 1 rep max and what is 1 rep max? What is the difference between two? 1 rep max is the maximum amount of weight that you can do for 1 rep but RP will be 10. On the other hand, estimated 1 rep max is estimation of 1 rep max that you can do on a particular day. In estimation case, you don't have to perform an 1 rep max to see what's your actual 1 rep max. Instead, you calculate it by using an RP calculator. As this is 5th week of the Calgary Barbell 8 week program, we have to use estimated 1 rep max for our back offsets which will be 65% of estimated 1 rep max. To start week 5, we have to perform 1 set of 3 reps at RP8 and after this you have to calculate your estimated 1 rep max. After calculating your estimated 1 rep max, you have to perform 6 sets of 5 reps of 65% of your estimated 1 rep max. That brings me to point number 2 which is how to calculate estimated 1 rep max. Well, there are multiple ways to find your estimated 1 rep max. Some people use a formula but we use an app called rpcalculator.com. This app uses the RP table published by the Mike Tushrer, who is the founder of Reactive Training System. So I would say this is a legit app. To use this app, put down your weight, amount of reps, RP, and hit compute. You will get your estimated one rep max. In my case, which is 365 pounds, now go to calculator calculate the 65 percentage of this rep and there you go you have the weight for your back offsets this app is pretty handy and i would say it is easy to use when you are working out in gym you just have to input your numbers and that's it you will get your estimated one rep max i will include the link to this app in the description below this brings me to the next point of this video which is how accurate is estimated 1 rep max? Well, my short answer would be Now you got the number, just trust it. Don't test it. I know the feeling when you get to know that your estimated 1 rep max is, let's say, 400 pounds. And there's a huge temptation which says, yeah, you gotta try that weight. I would say probably not. As I said in my previous videos, you are in gym to build your strength, not to test it. These calculated estimated 1 rep maxes are just the indicator of strength that you have on a particular day or on a particular week. These estimated 1 rep maxes can be accurate. If you perform more weight at lower reps, they will not be that accurate if you are performing a low weight for more reps. An example would be, if you did 375 pounds for 3 reps at RP8, your estimated 1 rep max is 435. But if you did 315 pounds for 6 reps at RP8, your estimated 1 rep max would be 400. I would say estimated 1 rep max of 435 is more accurate. That brings me to the next point which is where else you can use this estimated 1 rep max. You can use this estimated 1 rep max in the starting of your program as well. While starting the program, on the first tab of Calgary Barber 8 week program, you have to input your 1 rep max. In my previous video, I have suggested you should put 95% of your 1 rep max. But if you are not sure of your actual 1 rep max, you should calculate your estimated 1 rep max and use that for your training maxes. Now the last section of this video, which is one mistake that we did when we were following this program last time. So we were not aware of this estimated 1 rep max thing. And what we did was we did one set of three reps at RP8 and instead of calculating estimated one rep max we just used our previous trading maxes which is not correct i hope you will learn from our mistake and you will not do the exact mistake that we did while running the program last time do comment below do let us know if there is anything that you need to know from our side regarding this program regarding our training regarding garage gym 
or anything that you want us to share we would love to answer within the comments or if that topic is viable we can make a video on it let us know whatever you guys think all right that was week five of the calgary barbell programs and my two cents about estimated one rep max till next video stay strong stay safe